this now. And live coming from the studios of, I don't know where, we're looking at um, starting something called a linked list. Uh, this is in the Gaddis book that we use, chapter 18. And linked lists are actually the anti array in that a linked list will dynamically, and this is our other word. Back when we were doing arrays, we used a word called static for static memory. And that meant that you know we declare the size of what we think we need and we hope that it fits. We hope that there is enough memory for everything we want to store. And we also hope that we're not wasting memory. You know, it's easy to guess and say, I need 10,000 uh, ints and I'm using 40,000 bytes, but I'm only storing 10 numbers. I'm wasting a lot of memory, okay? A linked list is going to be different. Instead of the word static, we're going to use the word dynamic. And what happens here is we're going to create a new data structure, okay, that is going to allow us to grow or shrink. And an example of this, some of you may remember, was a vector. So when we learned about arrays in 161, we also had the vector thing going on. And a vector was nice, except it sort of worked like an array. And if you see down here, I have a note. This is faster than vectors um, because one, it's easier to insert and there's no shifting going on. And same with removing. If I wanted to remove the very first item and I had 10,000 items, everything had to get shifted to the left. And the other thing with the vectors was we had to remember all the names. Does anybody remember any names and vectors of the functions that we use to work with them? Exactly. That's my point. Okay. So they were a little hard to remember. All right. So like the back, pop? pop was one. Very good. Pop was one. Usually with pop, what goes with pop? Another P word? Push. 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 Yeah. And um, you're going to see some of that coming up this semester when we start talking about stacks and queues, uh, which is right around the corner. So we can kind of keep that in mind. All right. So what we're going to do, instead of a, a spot in an array where I'd store a number, and then I'd have the next one right beside it, in the memory location, and we're going four bytes at a time, okay, for the array, I'm now, instead of going to have just one little block, I'm going to create a structure, okay? And the structure is going to hold two things. First thing, it's going to hold the data value. Just like in the array, it held a data value. But the other thing that's going to be in my struct is a pointer that will, okay, so my struct, I'm giving it the name list node. It's a pointer that will, in fact, we're calling it next, but it'll point to the next struct. So all of a sudden, I'm going to have, I want to get rid of this arrays. I'm going to have this guy pointing to another struct that has a pointer on, so I can store value, store value, store value, but I don't have to do anything until I need one. Oh, I need to add another number to the list. I create another memory address, because remember, this points to a memory address. I'll create a new list node, wherever it is, and then I'll attach it to where its memory address is. So I'm gonna be linking, <laughs> linked list, linking each of these nodes together. So this is where I'm now going to store my data instead of a single array element. Okay. So as I come down through, uh, I store the value and then I'm going to be storing the address of the next node. Everybody got the idea of what's going on. So in order to get started, one of the things I have to have is a, a, a head, something that is nothing more than just a pointer that gets me started and says, hey, over here's where my first node is stored. And then information inside of here would include, hey, here's where the next node is stored, and so on and so on. Temporarily, when I create a new node, it's got a point somewhere. 
So when I create it, I'm going to point it to null. Uh, so right now there's one element in this list. List head points to the node, which points to null. If I created a new node, first thing I would do is point it to null. Okay. And it's sitting there. And then I'd have to figure out, for example, if I'm inserting it, where does it go? If it goes here in front of this node, I would point now to here, and this guy would now point up to here. So I'd have some sort of going to here, this guy going to there, and that way I could put them in in the order that I would like. If I added another node, I don't know where it's going to be located in memory, but I'm going to point it to null and say it oh, null and say it comes after this node. Well, now all I would have to do is get this node and store its memory address. So now you can see this effect of chaining to here to here, to here, to here. And, I, and how do I know I'm at the end? Again, once I assign that, this no longer would be null. Okay, I know I'm at the end when I see the null. Questions so far? So is this something they'd use like more in industry over arrays? Um, well, it does save memory. And a lot of times it's going to depend on what we're doing. So we're going to take array concept. We're going to take the linked list concept. And as we go through the course and we create data types, we're going to take a look at the data type and would it work better as an array or would it look better as a linked list and how, you know, which way is more efficient and more effective. So, it's all about this course learning new data types, just like we did right now. We learned a new data type. And we're going to keep this idea as we move through the rest of the course. Just like yesterday, or um, ooh, last Thursday, just like last Thursday, when we took a look at a list, which was in an array, we came up with some basic operations, some basic functions. We're going to take a look at linked list today and how we can do some of these basic functions as well. For example, append would be adding to the end. Uh, traverse, again, when we looked at list last Thursday, traverse, we thought, oh, I may be searching to see if something's in the list. I may be printing the list. I may be copying the list of numbers, okay? So it's, it's, again, we're working with list, we're storing them, uh, insert, delete, destroy. Now, destroy isn't for the whole thing. The destroy would be, say I wanted to delete, let's say I want to delete this node. After I get the head pointer pointing to that one, I now need to free up this memory. So when we start to see destroy, it's going to be freeing up memory for us. Okay, questions? Good. Good. All right, so I want to get ready and I want to talk about this head. Okay, and this is the idea that gets me started. I'm going to say I want to create a pointer called head and head is going to point to a list node. Now, the first value I give to head is null. So right now, head points to null. Null is false. Null, null is everything. Okay, so even though I know my pointer is pointing to something of type list node, it can also point to null because everything can point to null. All right, so that gets me up and started. Now, what if I wanted to take a look at that first guy and, and I want to do something like append? So, how would I append? And, and of course, append is adding to the end of the list. So, if I want to add to the end of the list, I need to make some notes. Not coding yet, I'm not going to be coding for a while. I want to append. So, first thing I need to do is create a new node. So, I'm guessing append is going to be bringing a value in inside of this class. Okay, so my append function, and this is sort of like we were looking at the other day with list. Inside the class, I'd bring a value in, or we were bringing a location in, uh, but then I'm still within the class, so I have my link list I can work with. I'm going to need to create a new node. I'm going to need to put the data in it. Then I'm going to say, if my 
linked list is empty, which means head points to null, then I'm gonna have a head point to that new node. Otherwise, I'm gonna go through that entire linked list until I find it null, and then I'm gonna insert it. So how are we doing this? Well, we're gonna do something like um, this arrow, node pointers next. So I'm gonna be doing things like, uh, if node pointers next equals null, that kind of idea. All right, so let's see what, what I have. I wanna do append, and I'm gonna start scribbling some things down for the function append. All right, so let's see, if I wanna append, that means I know I wanna to add to the end. And we're not gonna see very much with append. So I have a function, let's say I'm working with integers, and um, let's just call it num. And I wanna add it to the end. All right, so how do I do it? Well, the first thing I do is I'm gonna create a new node. So, um, you know, it's, oh, look, what do we got here? We got, um, how would I create a new node? So I'm gonna use that list node and I'm gonna say list node. And again, this is just my notes. Cause in my notes, in order to do a pen, I'm thinking I might have a situation where head points to null or head, I know, you know, it points to a node and that points to a node and that points to null, okay? So let's say this, it doesn't matter what's in here. Uh, we'll just let it blank for now because I'm either gonna have head point to this new node or I have to go through the list get to the last one and attach it. So there are my two situations. If you remember last Thursday, when we were doing list and we wanted to insert, we talked about, well, what if it's empty? How do I insert it? What if I'm inserting at the middle? What if I'm inserting at the end? So before I even start writing this simple function to a pen, I needed to stomp on down here and say, um, you know, my situations, Here's one, here's two. Um, a pen's not so bad, so I don't think I need to do any more. So, okay, so I need to create a new node. All right, and that was the first thing on my, oh, wrong sheet. First thing on my to-do list, uh, let's see what's here. Create a new node, fill the node with data. Okay, so we have uh, and then check C empty. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I, I think I got the idea. All right. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to create a new node. All right. So let's see how we set up the declaration to create a new node. Well, let's see. My data type is list node. this guy, struct list node, double value. And double. So I need to create a new node to get started. Anybody read ahead or anybody see what we're supposed to do? All right. Well, let's just say this is called new node. I'm gonna give it a name. This is my new node. All right. Now, what do I need to do? I need to say it is a new list node. Okay, that's its data type. So we're gonna, we're gonna have that. I need to give it a value. Uh, when I created this, I have the words value and I have the words next. So I need to keep those in mind. I'm gonna say new node. Now this is something that's a little bit different. Dash arrow, okay, the, or the greater than sign. So it almost makes it look like an arrow and I'm referring to new nodes value and I wanna give it the value that I passed in. So that's gonna become num. And I also have the second part of my struct which is my node pointer. And what should I set that to? 
Null pointer. Null pointer. Okay. Null pointer. Null. Uh, P O I N T E R. Yeah, I'm not so good. Okay, so that was the first thing on my list. Create a new node. All right. Give it values. Good. Now what am I going to do? Again, I'm. I'm. I'm this is not exact code. I'm going to type but it's me thinking out loud. So my first case was to take care of head. So I could do something that looks like this. If head, uh-oh, if head. Now I don't know that I like that. What if I said not head? Well, if head points to null, all right, we'll see you Cassius. If head points to null, and I say null is the same as false. What is not false? So here's my situation. If head points to null, okay? That means right now head is false. So if I say not head, this guy right now evaluates as false. This is, this is a shortcut. I mean, I could have put if head equals null, if I wanted to, or anything like that. So what is this statement right now? Not head. It means it's not the end. It means, it well, is it, this is an an if statement. So Boolean wise, it would be true. a true statement. Okay. You with me? Yes. Okay. So if that's true, that's my first case. And all I now have to do is say head, and I want head to point to new node. So we say head equals new node. Okay. So head is a pointer. It's going to point to new node. So it would be this. You know, if I created my new node, and it's sitting at null, and it's empty, so now head would point to my new node. Easy? Somebody say yes. Good. Yes. Seems like it. Yeah. Else. So I took care of that situation. So now I need to take care of the else. I'm sorry. My camera keeps twisting because I write on an angle. How's that? That's better. Else. Now I need to go through this situation right here. I'm going to make a little room for myself because this is recorded I can erase all this now I have this situation which means I know head doesn't point here and I have to be able to traverse through so something that I could possibly do is I could say um, temp pointer I'm going to create a temp pointer Okay, so inside of my else, uh, you know, it's going to be a nice big block of code, maybe. I'm going to have a temp pointer. And my temp pointer is going to get the value of head. Okay, so now temp pointer points to there. All right, now what am I going to do? I want to know if temp pointers next equals null. If it does, I know this guy, right, so do, 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 do. help me out here folks. Temp pointer now gets a value of head. This is a pointer getting the value of a pointer. So up here, I had to create a temp pointer. Okay, uh, what is it, list node? equals asterisk temp pointer, okay? Temp pointer just points to a node. Just like um, our next here from our struct, it points to a list node. So what am I doing? I'm saying temp pointer gets the value of head. Okay, now if temp pointers, pointer equals null, all right, I need to make notes, if, temp pointer, pointer, that's this guy right here. If temp pointers point, we call it next, excuse me. 
if temp pointers next equals null, which would be here, then I would want to insert it. If not, I'm going to be doing something like temp pointer gets the value of temp pointers, temp pointers, too many P's, temp pointers next. So my way of traversing through this, um, I apologize, temp pointer is going to get the value of temp pointers next. So my way of traversing through is this line right here says temp pointer, which points to this list node, now gets that guy, that address. So this line of code right here is now going to have me go there. Then again, I need some kind of loop that says if temp pointers next equals null, then I insert it. Otherwise, I keep traversing through the loop. So I'm going to need some kind of while loop until I get to the end. All right, well, I'm going to help you all out, and I'm going to Cupid shuffle this guy over here, and let's see if we were kind of close, okay? So I have if head, if not head, which we talked about a moment ago, that means it's, it's empty. It's pointing to null, and I insert one thing. So this part right here, that inserts, inserts empty list. I'm going all Harry Potter and the Half-Blood, putting notes in. Else, so let's see. This is what we were talking about a minute ago. Node pointer gets the value of head. Ah, here we're using that Boolean again, right? While node pointer is next, if it points to something, I keep moving in. I'm going to keep, oh, that's a cute little loop. That's a cute little loop to get me through until node pointer's next equals null. And as soon as node pointers next equals null, I jump out and say node pointers next gets the value of new node. Pretty slick code. Again, this is pointing to the head. All right. Ba -da -da. Oh. Oh, where is my paper? Here it is. And again, I'm going to draw the diagram, right? So right now, I have head, it points to a node, it points to a node, and that points to null. Now, if I look at the code, node pointer gets the value of head. Node pointer gets the value of head. All right, we use one called tempt, they're using node pointer. Now, while no pointers next, which is this guy, as long as that's true, then node pointer gets that value. So this is true. So node pointer now points to this node. I would keep doing that until this statement becomes false, which means node pointers pointer equals null. And when that happens, this is where I'm going to jump out and I'm going to say, uh-oh, Node pointers next, which is this guy right here, is going to point to that new node that I'm trying to insert. I ran out of a little space there. I reached this point, node pointers next, which is this pointer right here, now is going to point to new node. Pretty slick code. Yes or no? Yes. Now, was I able to get anywhere close without, with um, just, could I have sat down and typed this? No, Galen, don't shake your head yes. No, I couldn't have been able to type how to append inside of here. No, it's not that easy. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. I'm going to stop my video because we've recorded about as much as we're going to record. And we're going to take a look at um, chapter 18. I gave you on D2L the files for chapter 18. So I'm going to stop the recording. You can go to D2L. You can get that zip file and open it and meet me back here in a minute or two.